This week on Simply Ming, we're doing Indian home cooking with one of the best Indian chefs in the world and my friend, Madhur Jaffrey. She is also a James Beard award-winning author, actress, and restaurateur. We are magicians right. with spices, and we know how to get two or three flavors out of the same spice. She'll show us how to make potatoes in a marwari style with griddle bread, and I'll counter that with a Japanese chicken curry with caramelized onions and cauliflower. Prepare your taste buds as we're cooking at home right now on Simply Bing. I'm so honored and humbled to have my friend Madhur Jaffrey here. Hello. Hello. So nice to have nice you here. Nice to be here. In my home. She's, you just do so much. You, you cook, a great chef. You act. Do you sing? No. Not I'm yet. not a singer. Not yet. I don't sing either. Um, but we're going to cook together. But can I make you a quick cocktail? Because yes, we please, are cooking at home. Please. This is a very simple one. Um, if you could fill these up with ice for me. All right. And what we're doing is an Aperol spritzer. So this is an orange liqueur. From Italy. Um, have you had this before? It's kind of like they, it's no. the beginning of a meal. They'll give you this on, on the rocks with a little bit of orange and sugar. So we're doing a spritzer. We're going to add a little bit of Prosecco in it. What is that for all? I've never had So it's this orange Jesus steep, and it has a bunch of herbs. It really, um, although they, they drink it as an aperitif in the beginning of the meal, it gets, your, it gets your juices going, right? Your stomach juices. Good. And this is a very light, refreshing drink. So. A little bit of this. It's a really bright, delicious looking color. We're gonna add a little bit of Prosecco. There's no reason to use expensive champagne because you're mixing with this Aperol. So like that. So it that. be fizzy. Fizzy and fresh and very easy to drink. Then just to tone it down because the Aperol itself has, it has that bitter, we're gonna add just a little bit, splash of soda water. Not mm -hmm. a lot. Just like that. And then we have Luxardo cherries, which are my favorite cherries in the world. Ah. A couple of those. And then a little orange inside. And there you go. This looks lovely and summery and cheers. Cheers to you. It matches your shirt. Well, that's why you did it, right? <laughs> of course that's why I did it. Cheers <laughs> to you. Mm. What do you think? Delicious. It's good, right? Delicious. So is it, can you cook now? Maybe I just want to drink this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have to cook. Come on, let's go cook. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, Mata, what are your uh, two dishes you're making? Well, the first dish I'm making is a potato dish. We have thousands of potato dishes in right. India. This comes from a vegetarian community of business people. They're called marwaris. So, so here are potatoes that have been boiled. Okay. And now you can peel the last one. Right. And then, please, for me, yep. cut them into fat chips. Fat fries, like fat steak fries? fries. Okay. In England, you call them chips, but here okay. you call them fries. So like and six, this would be six pieces? So what's all in the potatoes? OK, now we are going to put a whole bunch of seasonings and spices. Right. The first set of seasonings that we put in would have salt. OK. We'll have uh, coriander. Right. We'll have chili powder. This is rather dark chili powder, right. but any chili powder that you have. Right. And turmeric. Turmeric is a very important uh, seasoning in Indian food. It, uh, it helps the, to cleanse the body. Right. So now I'm going to let you do this. OK. And then and, what about, then this is grated? Ah, ginger. Yeah. Now, then ginger has many qualities, including if you're going on the sea, yep. it'll stop you from oh, getting yeah, sick. Oh, yeah, nausea, yes. Nausea, it's anti-nausea. Yep. All our spices are used medicinally as well. Just like Chinese so look, cuisine. We look very healthy, yeah. don't we? You know how, <laughs> can, I, can I say how old you are? Yeah, You'll you never can. guess. Yeah. You would think 70, right? How old are you? I'm going to be 83. 83, can you in, imagine? In August. <laughs> okay, and then you right. have some shallots go in here? Okay, so this is more like Indian onions than okay. anything else, so it's good to use. So I'll slice that then, I'll slice your chili, right? Yeah, There's slice timer, my right? chilies. So then we'll be all ready for okay. this particular dish. Right. While you do, do all that, okay. I'm going to make a bread. Okay. Now let me tell you the seasonings that I'm going to put okay. in here. So there is, of course, there is chili powder. Right. There is salt. There is cumin powder. Then this is some a spice we call ajwain. It's rather like thyme. Okay. It has thyme all in it. 
And if you can't get ajwan, you can use thyme okay. instead. Awesome. And this is what we call nigella. You see sometimes on top of Indian breads. Right. It's a very aromatic. Interesting, because you think it's black sesame seeds, but they no, don't, no, not at no, all. No, no, not at all. And smells very different. And all these are going to go in whole into this flour. Now, the flour is very special. It's a whole wheat flour, okay. but it's a whole wheat flour that's been ground very, very fine. Okay. You buy it in Indian shops, it's called chapati flour, because you make breads or chapatis with it. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. making a slightly more complicated bread, which is <laughs> yeah. more like a paratha. Right. And it's a layered paratha. It got rings in it, and it has seasonings in it. Awesome. So you can almost eat it by itself, or you can roll up potatoes in it, dip it in a chutney. Mmm. <laughs> and Love that it. is very, very, very good. So I'm going to put all these in. So all this goes in the potatoes, right? And all these go into the potatoes. Got it. And now you have to mix it lightly. Right. Put gloves on right. because you will your fingers will not get, because oh, I'm not a man I'm a man uh, but, I, and I'm a woman and but I do <laughs> will wear gloves to do this because turmeric okay. turmeric is used actually for fabrics too right yeah to color fabrics. it's to such dye, a beautiful yellow them. color so I first mix this in and you can be and you mix that in okay. as nicely and as thoroughly do you let this sit for a while or is it pretty much no, good to go no no it's pretty much good to go but once I've done this okay. I'm going to put a teaspoon of oil in here okay and yeah, you olive oil? Uh, you can use ghee in India, which is clarified butter. Right. Uh, but I like to use unsaturated uh, fats as much as possible. Oh, so use oil, okay. Uh, That's your Americanization, I guess. Uh, it's my Americanization, perhaps. So, butter as, as thin as possible? Yeah. Right? Very fine half rings. So now I'm going to mix. It'll be fine. Till I have a breadcrumb like consistency. Okay. This is a very little bit of oil. You only need to. No, at now. But wait, Got every it. bit has a little oil in it. Now I'm going to slowly add water and get it to a point where I can make a soft dough. Right. And that's just room temperature water, right? Yeah, regular tap water. Mater, on the Thai bird chili, sliced with the seeds, right? Of course. Of course. Well, in India, chilies are eaten for their seeds. The right. seeds are the Which hot is the part. heat, is the heat. Yeah, so we careful. want the heat. So as small and as we possible, want right? the flavor. Right. So sometimes in the same dish, like in this dish, you'll see a red chili, which is dried. Right. And you'll see a hot green chili, which is not dried. And, and usually each has its own flavor. Green is, tends to be spicier, too, sometimes. People it think can red. Be. Yeah. Right? By the way, when you're working with a fresh tiber, do not be changing your contact lens. Yeah, you no, will No, don't burn. touch your eyes. Don't touch anything. Yeah, and wash your hands well afterwards. Exactly. And then you peel the ginger, right, Mara? Yeah, peel the ginger okay. and grate it. And I'm going to take this away. So what do you need, about a teaspoon? I need about a teaspoon. Now I have to knead this for about 10 minutes. And Does it's a spicy like dough. Yeah, more? Yeah. A little bit more? No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, but separate it from the ginger, because okay. they don't go in together. Got you have it. to brown the ginger slightly. And the dough is, you know, you just have to knead it. And I'll show you, this is how Indians knead. With your fist? With your fist. And we have, needless to say, this is a very small amount of dough. This would be for two people. You, need, you want some flour? You Not need, yet. You know, okay. No, this is fine. I just have to work it. Here's a little uh, bit if you need. I'll knead it later. You have to work it till it's absolutely smooth, about 10 minutes. Right. And then you put a little oil it, on it, and you put it in a plastic bag. Okay, and how long? Put it away. How I long? would put it away for min minimum 30 minutes, okay. but maybe an hour. You're not waiting for anything to rise. Okay. You're just waiting for all the gluten to settle in and for the dough to be absolutely smooth and not the way it is now. Interesting. And would you ever use a, a electronic mixer with the absolutely, dough? Absolutely, you could. Right. I just, this is such a small amount. If right. I was doing for 20 people, I might, I might do that. And this would make six griddle bread. But first, we'll make the potatoes. And you see how quick, quick, thick, and fast I, they cook. It's amazing how they got that beautiful turmeric color already. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just, just, yeah. just by that tossing of the spices. This is done. That goes in there. And goes in there. So and half it, an hour, seal it? Yes, seal it. Okay. Half an hour later, or an hour later, or two hours, or tomorrow. Okay. You can still use it. So now, now we can. I'm using the cast iron for the, for bread. the bread. You get this on a medium high. Okay. Got it. And, and uh, when it's nice and hot, you put in two tablespoons of oil, roughly. 
olive oil. Get them okay? very clean. Yeah, olive okay. oil is Two good. Two tablespoons. Yeah, that's One, good. Two, and two. when it's really, you have to wait for it to get hot, and then you do a trick which we call tarka. Which What's it is called? Tarka. Tarka. Okay. And you put in whole spices good. into hot oil, okay. which changes the nature of the spice and brings out a secondary character from every spice. We are magicians right. with spices, and we know how to get two or three flavors out of the same spice. And you'll see how they change. Okay, now, first put in the, there's an order. Yep. First put in the asafoetida, so, which is a digestive. Yes, yeah, so what is asafoetida? It's a gum from a tree okay. that grows in Afghanistan. Okay. And it smells like hell, yeah, but yeah. it is. But by the time you cook with it, it has a truffle-like flavor. It has a very so delicate truffle-like flavor. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now quickly. So see. And seed. then you break the chili into two. Okay. One, two. And you put that in. Now. Wow! Amazing aromatics coming off of that. Okay. Now let's stir the chili a couple of times. Okay. And so it gets dark. Now you know that in yep. Chinese. Oh yeah, you have to get it dark, exactly. You, you, you do that because the yep. flavor of the skin then is very exactly. different. Now you put in shallots? shallots and... And the chilies or just shallots? First the shallots. Okay. And then the chilies and then the, and the, and ginger. Okay, so we'll do the shallots first. Yeah, get, let's cook them for about two minutes or three minutes because you're going to, they're going to brown further okay. when you do the potatoes. Any salt or pepper or not? They sh there should be enough salt. There okay. should be. We'll have to test. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, now, now put in your chilies and ginger. And ginger. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. You can tell these potatoes are going to be awesome. All right. Okay. Now just give them, let, let them cook for about half a minute, okay. the whole thing. All this goes in for about five minutes and you let them brown a little. Now? Wait. Yeah, no, put them in because okay. the onions, uh, uh, the shallots will keep browning with the potatoes. Get all the spices in, yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. Toss them? Perfect. Toss yes, them, toss, toss them, yep. okay. toss them. Oh my God, look at that, it looks so good. So you let them cook for about five minutes okay. and let them brown. So you, you flip them once? You flip them as many times, okay. you keep okay. flipping them. Awesome. Because you don't want any side to get too brown, but the whole thing should turn brown. Excellent, all right, we're gonna cook these for five minutes till they're brown and we come back, you're gonna roll us some bread. Griddle, griddle bread. Yes. Awesome. Okay, Mara, now it's okay. griddle bread time, right? Okay, you can also call this a paratha. In so paratha's bread? It's a, it, they're all breads that are cooked in a, f a flat with a little uh, oil or ghee or anything okay. else. So now See I'm going to fat. divide it into two halves, okay. roughly. All right, can I help? Okay. Then what? Now you divide that into three. Into three. And then I'm going to work three with balls? three balls. I'm going to work with three. You can do it any way you want. Three balls. Okay. And then we can make three nice balls. Okay. And I'm going to keep all five covered and work with the sixth. So this is just more kneading? Yeah. So here's a damp cloth here. Okay. And put them in the damp cloth? No, no, here. No? I'll okay. put them right here. And then I'll give me, leave me one. Okay. And I'll cover these. Got it. Okay. Now they're waiting and I'm ready. Okay, so now. A little of the chapati flour. Right. This is more of the chapati flour on the countertop. So we have a cast iron on medium low or medium high? What do you want? A medium low and okay. just let it heat up. Okay. All right. I'm going to flip your potatoes too. How are these looking for you? Pretty good? Pretty good. Pretty good. You can brown them. them a little more. Oh, look at that. They're looking good. That's awesome. I mean, this, this, I mean, like my grandparents, this is almost like a scallion pancake, right? It is like that. It's just, uh, that's the idea. And so you would eat this every day? Every day. But because it's slightly fattening, right. I would eat it on a Sunday. It would be a special occasion for me right. to eat a paratha. Right. And how many books have you written, Madhur? You know, I actually don't know. But I think. I think, because I, I counted. I, no, I but you can't, you can't really count. 
Oh, because really? yes, I can. I went to college. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you may have gone to college, but my books didn't go to college. <laughs> and point. the way they work is that there are many more than appear. Okay. Actually, you know, it appears in one form, and before so like you a know it, different cover, different title, but yeah. Similar. And they say add thirteen more recipes. Okay, now watch. Put a little bit of this. Okay. Oh, and spread it around. All right. I like what I'm seeing here. Then you roll it up. Yeah. See, this is like scallion pancakes. It is like yeah, scallion pancakes. Yeah, you're doing pancakes. layers. Yeah. See, I always had the argument with Mario Batali. who learned it from whom? Yeah. <laughs> That's the same thing. I can't believe you. Like, but you didn't have wheat. Now, come on. Let's look at history. Uh, you didn't have wheat. We invented wheat. No, we didn't. <laughs> No, we did <laughs> <laughs> So it came from the Middle East. And at first it came to us because we have wheat fields in India right. that are uh, 10,000 years old. Interesting. That, so, that's before my time. That's before my time. <laughs> <laughs> but I love okay. I love how the technique, right? The spiral, okay. the stress, then roll it out, and you snailed it, and now you have layers. Now you have layers. And now you roll okay. it out. Oh my god, my dad and mom would love this. What I'm going to do... Do you want a little oil or not? Yes, but first I have to get all the flour off it. So okay. I do this, 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 this. Chapats. Chapat is a slap. No, when the really? basic form of this bread, our flat bread in India, is called a chapati because we are slapping it. Oh, that's funny. Okay, now we put a little oil. Okay. Like... Is that enough? Yeah, that's good. And it goes slap. Okay. And, and then, about 45 seconds. Right. It's already bubbling. Ah, you look great. You can put more oil? I'm going to put a little oil over the top, half a teaspoon, roughly. That's what I said. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of oil going uh, in later on. And that's because when you flip it. Yeah. Now I'm flipping it. Love it. I love it when the bread itself has flavor. Look at that. After about 20 seconds like this, then yeah. back and forth, back and forth a few times, and then it's done, and I don't want it to get hard, so I put it in uh, something covered. You foil the cover. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna make some more bread. Potatoes are gonna be done, then I'm gonna do a quick Japanese chicken curry, and we're gonna eat all this together. Mater, those look awesome. It's good, and how's your food coming in? I'm on? good. So I'm doing the simplest one-pot chicken curry dish. Here we have some onions. I've just sweated them with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to add to it Madras curry powder. Wow. Like a good amount, right? And you, you put that in with the onions and the oil because you actually want to toast the, the curry powder, right? You want to see the, the oils release and you can smell it. And now I add garlic ginger. If I add it in the beginning, sometimes it gets burnt. So a little bit of garlic tablespoon, and I'm going to do two. You must be a big ginger fan as well, right? I love ginger. Two, two tablespoons of ginger. So this is the base of the fantastic curry dish. Now, traditionally in Japan, at their curry restaurants, they, of course, have potatoes in their uh, chicken curry. But we have uh, Madhurst potatoes, so we don't need that. So now we have some dark chicken meat. This is chicken thigh, boneless, skinless, all cut up. We're going to add this to here. And now here, we're just going to cook and just sweat this down. I'm adding chicken stock to this to make it uh, nice and saucy. And then we thicken it with a little bit of cornstarch slurry. All right, so we're just going to let this chicken. I'm not trying to brown. I just want to get the rawness out of the chicken. All right, going to let this cook down a little bit. And the last thing we're going to add to it is some uh, cauliflower. Because again, this is not traditional. This is my replacement for potato, because we already have Mater's potatoes. So just some beautiful fresh cauliflower. Keep them in large florets, which I like. And now these can get added like this. All right. And these are all raw. And those chicken were cut in pretty small pieces. So by the time these, this cauliflower cooks all the way through, so will the chicken. So we're talking about big pieces of cauliflower like that. All right. Put that in. And you've got, you made all six cakes? Uh, I've got most of them, yeah. Awesome. So mix this all in. And don't worry about the chicken. There's a, obviously still raw chicken in here because now we add chicken stock. 
All right? You don't need to cover, but about halfway. All right? So now we're gonna bring this slowly to a simmer, and then are gonna cook for about 10 minutes uh, until the chicken's cooked through and the cauliflower is nice and tender. And the last thing we'll add to it is some edamames at the very end. So we're almost good to go. 10 minutes, we have a chicken curry cauliflower dish. All right, Mato, so after 10 minutes, Okay, yeah, that's right. looking very good. We're gonna add a little taste of Asia, a little some edamames. Mm -hmm. Just to add a second level of kind of sweetness. Looks like peas, almost. Yeah, like exactly. And we cook cauliflower with peas all the time. I know. And this, I don't know if you guys to thicken. This is a cornstarch slurry. No, we don't thicken. Got it. So here, this is chicken stock, right? So I just add a little drizzle. And you have to cook the cornstarch out, but this will thicken it up. In New Orleans and everywhere, in the French cuisine, we call it a roux. You can already see it's already thicker, right? Yeah. And that's yeah. all I mean. I'm not looking for a gloppy thick. I just want something that will have a little viscosity. And okay. that's all we're doing. And I'm finishing I'm mine off potatoes. with a few green coriander leaves, which are always beautiful and delicious. And we're done here. We can plate this up now. Put this in a big bowl, family style. I'm not an idiot. I was not going to cook an Indian curry for <laughs> Madhur Joffrey, right? I mean, I have a brain. So I figured, well, let's do a curry Japanese style, which you've had before, right? I've had it, and it is very different. It's from so ours. different. Yeah, I totally hope you different. like it, though. I'm sure okay. I always do. All right, I have my curry. You have your potatoes. And we take these. Yeah. I leave that. And I'll grab the bread. You grab We're going to go eat. Good. Okay, Mara, I'm pouring you a little Australian Riesling, which I Very think should go well. well Very spicy. Cheers. cheers Thank to you. you so much for Thank having you. me over. It this is was such delightful. an honor. You guys have no idea how humbled an honor I am to have you. Well, it's true thank pleasure. you for asking. Okay, let me serve you mm. a little bit of this. And let me serve curry. you a little bit of the potatoes, the Marwari potatoes. Please. Okay, we are going to. There we go. Awesome. Take a little bit of this curry as well. Hope it's, some. hope it's as good as your potatoes. <laughs> I don't. It looks so good and it smells so good. Please. Ah, thank you. And your famous. And now I'm going to show you okay. how to eat the Indian way. Would love to know. So you break off a piece of bread. Okay. Then you break off a piece of potato. Okay. Now you could dip it with a little bit of your chicken to give it a little sauce. Right. And then. In the mouth. Hmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Those good potatoes are unbelievable. Mmm. Oh, thank you. And this bread? This chicken is great. That's the chicken such. is. The bread is really the my bread. favorite. Oh my God. And what do you think of the curry? Be mm, honest. Excellent. Mater, you are amazing. It is, my, my life's complete. I've got to cook for Julia Chow, and I've had you here making curry wow. with me and your dishes. You're absolutely the best. And, <laughs> Cheers to you. You're the best, Mara. Thank you so much. And you're the best as well. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace and good eating.